On the scenic streets of small town Winchester, Virginia, politics is very much like the tune coming from this street musician. Impossible to get away from, impossible not to hear, even in the background. Before this election began, people had a pretty good idea of what Republicans stood for. Traditionally as being conservative and uh, uh, more traditional values. Independence of government. Anti-gay, they're pro-life. But does that describe Donald Trump? No, not generally. No. Sort of. The Republican presidential nominee has rebuked many traditional Republican beliefs, like free trade. And that is a key reason why he won the nomination. His supporters agree with him. They say they like the way he talks, even if he's insulting entire races and religions. Many of the establishment Republicans just don't. I had to withdraw my support. The barrage of cruel comments and the attacks on people who are vulnerable. The fact is, we have been asked to settle. It is unheard of. Republican senators disavowing their own candidate for president. Whether Trump wins or loses, his nomination has exposed a huge rift in the party. The guy has no credibility whatsoever. Bo Carell led a movement to dump Trump at the convention. He believes his political party is breaking apart, and it could be permanent. If after the election there is not a bloodletting from the party leadership, meaning there's not resignations, there's not a, a change in the course of conduct of the party, I fully expect there to be a split. But in modern times, the U.S. has always had a two-party system. It's not at all clear a three- or four-party system could work here, or that it's even possible to start a viable alternative. The last time we really had a, a other party become the, one of the two dominant parties was during the Civil War, or, you know, in 1860. Uh, so it's unlikely. The Republicans are in the midst of their own civil war that is likely to continue long after the election, a battle for the soul of the party between the people who have led it and the people who have followed their unlikely candidate in 2016. Which side wins will have a big impact on the future direction of the country. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.